So, you want to mod your MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries game so you could turn your cute little 30 ton urban mech into your enemy waifu of your dreams. If that's the case, um, I just want to say I hope you uninstall. We don't need people like you in our community. <laughs> What's up everyone, my name is Solomon SK for Whiskey and RPGs and today I will be showing you how to mod your MechWarrior 5 game. Now if you're new to modding, it can be a little bit daunting admittedly, but um, it's still possible. There might be a bit of a learning curve and if you've modded before, and I know there's a lot of you out there who's modded Fallout and Elder Scroll games before, um, it's not as easy. They don't have that option where you just click on download through vortex or mod manager if you still have that installed uh, and um so yeah everything all the mods will have to be done manually at this point but hopefully we'll be getting that support soon mech warrior 5 still is a relatively new game no whiskey today i gotta actually drive in a few hours i gotta run some errands so just water today guys sorry but uh next time next time but hopefully we'll get some mods out of the way and um yeah hope you guys enjoy cheers So the first thing you want to do is head on over to MechWarrior, or I'm sorry, uh, nexusmods.com slash mercenaries and this is the page, this is what it looks like. Same old page. And on the top right corner, now I'm, I've already registered and logged in because I've been, like I said, I've been modding games for the last you know it's been it's been it's been a while so over here if you're new it's gonna say register go ahead and click on register put in your email uh, verify your email and whatnot and uh, you know you'll come to this page but after you've done all that um, I would go ahead and install the Nexus mod manager you probably will be needing it later hopefully when this game gets support I don't know how this works I don't know um, you know what the steps are in order to get a game um, to get Nexus Mod, or I'm sorry, Nexus Mod Manager, goodness, uh, to get the Vortex software uh, support for this game. Um, so in case when, when or if that happens, go ahead and download this, but if, it's not necessary at this point. Uh, generally what this software does, it allows you to directly download from this website, and with a click of a mouse button you're able to download and install mods right away without having to deal with going into your directory and um, just messing around with all the files in there but if you don't want to install it that's fine it's not really necessary at this point for the purposes of this video so we'll go ahead over to mods again and then go to browse all and then it's going to show you all the mods that are available in it's listed so you could actually change the endorsement or the listing by endorsement downloads unique downloads last updated author name so i'm seeing one i kind of like so i'm seeing one that i like but it's kind of cheating but let's try it anyways if you look right over here at the top tonnage limit removal so obviously if you don't already know you have a tonnage limit for your mechs for particular missions Again, like I said, this this mod is uh, is cheating in a way, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install it anyways. So it's always a good idea to read the description and just see if there are any known issues because a lot of mods, there are a lot of known issues that conflict. See if they conflict with other mods, that's another issue too, a lot of times. So this one seems to be a simple mod. Um, uh, the only thing that you have to do is you have to change systems before you notice any um, effect from the mod right and so yeah if there's a, if you want to talk about it if you actually want to talk to the modder maybe there's something that that came up you could um, report a bug up here too as well but most people just go up to the posts and you know type whatever they're saying oh good job modder i love this mod this is awesome or i hate you because don't do that don't say you hate them <laughs> but anyway so what you want to do is go over to files and uh, again, they'll, they'll have uh, more descriptions usually in the main uh, of the mod right here as well. And so if you have an older uh, version of this mod, uh, they are saying it to delete, uh, delete that first before you install it. So we'll go ahead and do a manual um, download and go ahead and just, you know, I have a free account. You know, if you want to go premium, that's fine, but it's not necessary. So we'll go ahead and go do slow download. And once that's done downloading, go ahead and unzip. 
or unpack, and you're gonna come up. Oof, sorry, that was loud, wasn't it? So you're gonna have. To, uh, so this particular mod has two files. It's gonna come with an installation text telling you how to install it. It says, um, "Go to your MacWare Fire Mercs uh, directory and drop the file there." So let's go ahead and do that, right? And this and this other file is the mod itself. So. What we'll do is we're, what we'll do, so I'm already in the folder, but I'll show you where it is. If you haven't changed the installation directory, I believe this is the default. Don't quote me, but you, what you should do is go to your main drive. In my, in my case, it's the C drive. Go ahead and click on program files. Find, find your Epic Games folder in it as well. Double click on that. And then you're gonna have three folders. Go ahead and double click on MW5 Mercs. And again, you're gonna to come to another folder, MW Fire Mercs again, as the direction suggests. Again, I'm just changing these. You're gonna have two folders. One says content, double click on that. I just like looking at my larger icons. Again, another two folders, movies and packs. The direction says to go to packs. And you're gonna have one file in there already. And the direction says to go ahead and drop the tonnage right here, MW5 Mercs Z07, 007 tonnage limit removal dot pack. Go ahead and click and drop, and that's it. You've modded your game now. <laughs> it was simple as that. And mods are generally this simple. Now, you're gonna come into problems with this method when you start installing 100, 200, maybe even 300 mods. And believe it or not, for those of you who mod games know what I'm talking about, I'm one of them. Um, I've installed, say, close to 280 or 60 mods on Fallout 4 alone, and uh, Fallout New Vegas was no different. So we're not going to go that crazy with MechWarrior 5. We can't even get that crazy because there hasn't been that many mods out yet. So we'll go ahead and start up the, start up the game and make sure everything checks out. Okay, so I've loaded a previous file of mine, and um, here in the Draconis Combine, I know a lot of these missions are um, are going to have a ton tonnage limit of 800. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here towards the border between um, the Draconis Combine and uh, I guess I guess right I guess they're called the um, the Federated Commonwealth now, you know, in this timeline. So. We'll go see difficulty 18. So there's there's no way in the game where a difficulty 18 um, mission is going to have a limit of 800 tons. That's that it just doesn't happen. So we'll accept that. Let's just pick all assault mechs. Here we are. Got three atlases on a in a game or in a mission that. Uh, is only supposed to have 200 or so. So there's another mod that really piqued my interest. And uh, those of you who, you may have noticed this, but in the Nightstar cockpit, it's crooked. That was one of the first things I, I, I love the mech. The mech is awesome. I love what you're able to do with it, but that crookedness of the cockpit, as you can see here in the uh, the pictures, yeah, that that that's a little bit annoying. So we'll go ahead and install this mod too. Again, descri description: Night uh, Nightstar cockpit is less of an eyesore now. Very simple. Um, looks like he made another mod too. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. This is from my other mods. Yeah, yeah. Actually, never mind. He did make another mod. Same thing. You're gonna download a pack and then you're gonna drop it into the same folder. Um, just to let you know, sometimes you won't always drop the the mod into the same folder. It depends on the mod. It could be, uh, I think different folders will have uh, different, hang on, let me reword that. Different mods will uh, be required you to drop in different folders. Say if it's uh, uh, an aesthetic mod or uh, just a new mech mod maybe even if if people start making those i'm pretty sure people will start making those eventually uh so don't always assume you're gonna be dropping you know the the, the mod into the same folder every single time like really go through and read the descriptions on how to um uh, to install it but in this case it's, it so happens to be the same so like again we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go up here to files manually download 
click on slow download. And as that downloads, go ahead and unzip the file, open, exit that out. So this one didn't, this one doesn't contain a text file on in telling you, you know, how to install, but it was already in the description. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So go back here. Again, we're going to go back to C drive, program files, Epic games, MechWarrior 5 Mercs, MechWarrior 5 Mercs again, content, packs. So we have two folders in there now because we installed the uh, tonnage uh, removal. Go ahead and click and drag. And there you go. We just installed our second mod and uh, we're pros now, right? So let's go ahead and fire up MechWarrior 5 again here. System's phenomenal. Yep. That looks pretty straight to me. But yeah, as you can see, it's not crooked anymore. If you kind of use the compass at the top as a guideline and just the overall way it looks, um, it, d it doesn't have that slant anymore. I don't even know why that slant was there in the first place, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure the devs have their reasons, but, uh, you know, just having it straight like this. I mean, it, it's, it's just a lot. It's just a lot better. So mods like this exist. Granted, this is for Fallout 4, not MechWarrior 5, but, uh. Could it could it exist for MechWarrior 5? Yeah, it's possible. I guess it just depends on the determination of the modder who would do something like this to your mechs, but to each their own, I guess. <laughs> yep. That is definitely uh is definitely an anime mod. Again, guys, that's it. It's really that simple, and I hope you guys learned a lot. Again, my name is Solomon SK for Whiskey and RPGs, and uh, if you haven't done so already, consider leaving a like and a subscription. It does really help the algorithms, considering I'm still uh, a new channel here, and uh, I primarily just, you know, do I primarily I primarily cover MMOs and RPGs, but uh, I'm a huge BattleTech guy. I love robots, everything from Armored Core to Heavy Gear to Gundam, Macross. Things like that so i really so even though my channel says rpg i do cover other things that other things that um i find interest in especially giant mechs and robots so again guys i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you guys next time cheers